What is good YouTube? It's She Got Kicks back with another video. This is going to be my top five Jordans of 2016. I know what you guys might be saying, Kiana, why are you doing a top five and not a top 10? Kiana, why are you doing only Jordans and not anything else? Well, mainly because I feel like every sneaker collector, like your top, like your six through 10, 10 is not even like a big deal. Like that's like shoes that maybe you probably don't even care for or you just threw them into your top 10 just because to make it a top 10. Um, and I figured like people skip through top tens just to see what your top five or your top three sneakers are of the year because that's where it's mostly important I feel like if I incorporated we could be here all day let's just be honest we could be here all day if I just did a top ten like I would be stuck here just sitting thinking of what's gonna be like in what spot even this top five I'm just letting you guys know top five of 2016 I was so conflicted between what shoes to put because I feel like it's more challenging making it's more challenging making a top five over a top 10. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I think it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna probably run a lot smoother. Before you guys see my top five though, be sure to leave in the comment section what your top five shoes were. It could be shoes, you don't have to just have Jordans. This is a sneaker channel. So if you wanna let me know what your top five shoes were, leave it down in the comment section. But coming in in my fifth spot, of course, I had to add the white cement fours. So these came out earlier this year. I forget exactly what month these came out. I want to say February, March. Of course, everybody was talking about these shoes when they were getting released. I remember Kais Omar even had a video where he ran these over because he wanted a more OG look. Like people were going crazy. People were being very extra around that time. The fours are probably my third favorite Jordan silhouette. So I have to put these up there. Um, Jordan Brand did a hell of a job with these. The quality okay it's just I'm happy to see the colorway again and Jordan brand you better not cheat us like I know they had rumors of the bread for of the bread fours coming out next year and then they said oh they're not gonna be released so Jordan brand don't play with us I want the bread four so bad bread fours are my grail fours like fours up there on my list so if you could come out with the bread fours that'd be so dope because those are literally one of my favorite shoes coming in on the fourth spot are the Jordan threes the true blue threes exactly don't mind the Oh my god, like I literally tried these on and then I just tied them like that. Don't mind the lacing on these things, but the True Blue Jordan 3s had to be on my list because they're one of my favorite colorways on the 3s. The 3s are my second favorite model. A lot of people were disappointed with the quality on these, and I'm not gonna lie. Like quality is honestly ass on these, but I got the grade school pair. I'm sure the men's pair is a little bit better, but I heard that the men's pair was not that good quality wise. Like why Jordan brand can't get the tumble leather right? Like I just want the tumble leather from back when the fire red threes came out. I don't know if you remember that. That was like two, three years ago. I think that was back in 2013. Fire red threes had such nice quality for a grade school shoe. I just wish that they came out with that type of quality on the true blue threes, but the true blue Threes again came out with the Nike Air on the back um, and it just looks sick you got the red tongue you got the red tongue too this year which is a switch up but I like the red tongue over the blue tongue I don't know why I just like the red tongue I just think it pops more even though it released on Black Friday you think it's gonna be hectic this was definitely the release like the easiest release of the year um, because it was so slept on and it was so mass produced so if you guys liked threes and you like true blue threes and the OG feel to it with the red tongue and then the Nike Air on the back you kind of scored this year even though the price was pretty inflated and that's one thing I don't agree with but these are going to hit Nike clearance once they hit Nike clearance I'm definitely double upping double upping on these because these are just too clean I know I'm going to wear my I wear my threes so much my threes and my fours I wear a ton three I had a hard time picking what's going to come in number three so I figured I have you guys pick because I really don't know like one day I like this shoe the other day I like the other shoe but it is the French blue 12s and the flu game 12s I don't know which one I like more to put in at number three these definitely would have made my top 10 both of them but I don't know who I would put in front of the other like that's another huge dilemma like anyone who owns shoes you know you get this dilemma like one day I love the flu games and then the other day I want to I want the French blues so y'all let me know in the comment section down below would you guys pick the French French blues over the flu games or the flu games over the French blues now that had to come in my number three spot Jordan 12s the way I was picking up 12s this year you would have thought that they were my favorite silhouette but they're not they're not really my favorite silhouette all right coming in at number two this is where it started getting really tricky because I didn't know who to put in number one or who to put in number two but I feel like I made the right decision 
Let me know in the comment section down below if you think I made the right decision. So my second place is the Jordan 1s. I wanted to put them in first because they're Jordan 1s and they're my very first Jordan 1s that I've ever I've ever gotten because I never get lucky on any of the OG ones that release. Like they sell out so fast. I'm not gonna lie, quality is decent on these. Um, I wore them so much, the Nike Air on the inside. I didn't tape up the Nike Air and they, it got rubbed off. Bottoms are dirty as hell, but that's how it's supposed to be. Um, Jordan 1s, they're not creased though. I don't know why I don't crease my shoes they're like perfect <laughs> they're so perfect that the toe box is not even funny and during the what I'd wear with these people were telling me that they're cringing because I was like literally creasing my shoes the way I was like I was like just um, posed but yeah these definitely had to take second they had to make it somewhere high on the list why they didn't make number one you guys will see in a second you guys probably already know what my number one pick is and now I want to kind of go over some honorable mention Jordans certain Jordans that were gonna make the list had I did a top 10 or something more than a top 5 but they didn't make the list just because you know I mean there's other shoes that I just liked more than them. Harris 11 definitely a shoe that probably would have definitely made the top 10 had I made a top 10 but quality wise they're an amazing Jordan 11. Um, especially for grade school they really killed it with the quality on these but they are gonna sit in the honorable mentions list another shoe that is amazing quality and it's just gonna sit in the honorable mentions list is the um, blue suede Jordan 12s these I kind of forgot that I even bought these like I'm not gonna lie this release was so slept on and underrated these were probably gonna make the top five but um, they are the black metallic fives the reason I didn't put them in my top five is just because I don't wear enough of them like my fours and my threes I wear them so damn much and I love fours and threes they're like my favorite one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes um, but the fives I don't know it's just I'm not big on the chunky look like I've never been big on chunky sneakers and I love the black metallics like this is my favorite Jordan 5 colorway uh, but again it's just Jordan 5s are not really my favorite Jordan silhouette so they're gonna just sit there on the honorable mention list we also have these the mellow 12s I wore these so much and these definitely were tough like not to put these in the list for top five Jordans of the year just because these were a grade school only shoe Denver Nuggets Carmelo Anthony inspired Jordan 12 or the baby blue on them is just beautiful but again they had to make the honorable mention list because there was just it was just too difficult making this list the ceremony 11s I wear these a lot this is why they're making the honorable mention list just because of how much I wore these this year um, perfect summer shoe too I wore these so damn much when I got them got them I was lucky to get these things on nike.com because these again sold out very went fast. through five through two on my top jordans of 2016 we went over some honorable mentions that you guys kind of see in the back of me we went over all those shoes now this is my very my favorite jordan of 2016 and you guys probably already know what it is because it's the one jordan that's missing that i was geeking out about on release day but that jordan's none other than the space jam 11s had to make number one just because they're my favorite colorway of the jordan 11s the space jams had to make the list i know that there were shoes on the honorable mentions that had better quality than these but they just had to just because of the way that i freaked out about these when i got them and i still haven't worn them yet and i really don't want to wear them yet just because i want to keep them clean for the summertime i really want to double up if nike ever restocks on them i didn't think they were going to sell out that fast had i known that they were going to sell out that fast on a resale day um i probably would have scooped up another pair but when i walked into the store it's like it was so dead and i was like oh you know what i took it for granted i walked out the store i was like oh they're gonna be there tomorrow they were long gone after that but these definitely had to make my first slot of 2016 let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this um little list that i made my top five of 2016 my top five jordans of 2016 let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with it if you disagree with it what your top five was feel free to leave your opinions down in the comment section be sure to like the video um 2017 is right around the corner is like in two days or whatever but 2017 is right around the corner and i can't wait for the new sneakers that are coming out 2016 was an amazing year for sneakers let me know down in the comment section how you were feeling about this like entire lineup what do you think i could have changed in my top five let me know in the comment section down below be sure to leave a like as well um so that way i know that you're enjoying the content and don't forget to su subscribe blah, blah, blah. don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of me i'll see you guys next time bye